you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the best budget players right now in Madden. So, obviously, whenever we get new Team of the Week drops, we get some new content in the game. It typically updates the lower spectrum of players, which brings about plenty of good budget cards. Also, I did a little scouring on the market to go find some of the newer, lower overall cards that are cheap enough that I have not seen yet. Because there's plenty, right? When I have a team with my overall, I'm typically looking at higher overall cards. So I miss out on a lot of those little budget beast kind of guys, those little hidden gems. So definitely going to be looking into that. And guys, before we get into this video, I have a few things. I got the giveaway announcement. I got my intro. So let's get into this real quick and let's not kill too much time. First off, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. You guys have been killing it. Like, destroying it. I thank you for all the support. Guys, we are like 40 subs away from 9k, so let's get to that. At this rate, we'll be at 10k in like a week. So guys, let's, let's hit that first milestone. Everyone watching this, run up the sub button. Hit that like button, boys. Again, I'm doing a similar giveaway today because you guys have killed it. This is the last one, though. Three days in a row. Take a little break, so don't go broke. So I'm going to be doing a 1,000 likes. If any video today, in general, hits a 1,000 likes, I will give away... 150k to a random commenter so i gave away 100k you guys hit that so i gotta give away the 100k i'll do that tomorrow on tomorrow's video you guys hit the 50k i'll give that away today on this video and if you guys hit a thousand likes on this video or any of the other two videos i post today just a thousand likes i will give away another 150k all you gotta do to enter any of these giveaways is go down below comment 150k drop a like on the video and that's all you gotta do comment done comment 100k if any of the three videos like i said hit the goal I will give away 150k to a commenter. So all you gotta do is comment so I can see that you commented and liked the video. And guys, for today's winner, I decided to go, I'm gonna go about it this way. I'm gonna pick five guys. All you guys gotta DM me on Twitter and comment your console. I'll randomize among you guys from that point on. So the winners are only one of you guys win, remember, but you guys have to go hit me up on Twitter. So go over to Twitter. Patrick Marone, Kaylee Harkins, Small Beach 101, Chris Kewis, and Alex Frasetto. You guys all commented 50k. Hopefully you guys will like the video. Go over to Twitter. The link will be down below. DM me on Twitter. Comment your console and say your name. And then I'll randomize those and I'll tell you guys who wins. All right, guys. Let's get into this video. We all good? Noti Bell's on. All right, right? Noti Bell's subscribed already. We're all to that point. All right. So back to my notes right here where I got my power, where I got all my budget piece, guys. Are you guys ready? That was a long ass intro. All right. Coming at number 10 from the auction block. A guy that is not my favorite receiver on this team, and I wish, it, well, my favorite receiver on this team is Cooper Cup, but Robert Woods is a pretty good second. He's a pretty good second receiver, or should I say third, because that's probably Brandon Cook's role. Let's see. Coop, uh, Robert Woods, 86 overall. I had not seen him yet, but for 50K, he's pretty much a budget beast if you really look at him. He's got 85 speed, 83 jumping. Good athleticism, right? For a 50K card, 86 overall, good athleticism. 88 catching, that's really high tier catching. 82 catching traffic, 81 spec catch. 82 short route running, 83 medium route running, 80 deep route running. Not many receivers at this overall do see with all above 80 stats, especially among the team of the weeks, because I was looking at a few others. They did not all look that good. Now, guys, when they drop a Cooper Cup card, I promise you I'm going to have to get that on my team. I'm a big fan of Cooper Cup in real life, and sadly, they've not given him a card yet. Next on the list, another guy makes the list again for the second time in a row. It's always cool when some guy makes the list again. That means they were that good, and you should probably pick him up. And this guy is Dante Jackson. If I'm saying that wrong, sorry for that. He is 5'10", he's got 90 speed, 86 excel, 90 agility, 86 jumping. Athletic combine freak, 90 speed, 90 agility, crazy. 86 jumping, 86 acceleration, crazy for the small price of what, 34K? And he comes with 81 man. And if you guys know what the meta is right now, it's blitzing man coverage. So what do you need in blitzing man coverage? You need initial speed so you don't get burned off the bat. So he can't get burned, he won't get burned too bad. And you need some man coverage. So he has enough man coverage to probably stay with it if you have a good pass rush. Big fan of Dante Jackson, highly recommend. Now this guy, I know who he is in real life, I hope I don't botch his name right now, but I did not know he had a Team of the Week card, and honestly, he's a he's like down to the core of the budget, but he's a budget beast right here. Raheem Mustard, he's 5'10", with 87 speed, 88 excel, 81 agility. Forget all the other stats, right? He's carrying, kind of bad, but that's what comes with a 3K card. He is literally 3,000 coins for an 87 speed. He has the same, he's one less speed than Marcus Allen and one more Excel. Blows away Philip Lindsay in the speed department and Excel department together. Obviously, his other underlying stats are not too great, but you can obviously make up with that. You can make up for that just by going about it 
and making sure you protect the ball and you don't get destroyed. He's also a good change of pace back. Next on this list is a guy that I have not been able to take off all year because I feel like he's going to get an upgrade soon. And on top of just getting an upgrade, he's an awesome card to begin with. I still play him on my current God Squad. 27K for Jamal Adams, 86 hit power, 80 zone coverage. That's what I worry about in safety, their zone and their hit power. Pursuit's important. I wish he could be a little bit higher, but he's an 84 overall. 85 play rec, important. Play rec, hit power, zone, important. And then speed, acceleration, and he's 6 foot 1. I'm not going to spend too much time on this card because obviously I've spent plenty of time throughout the year every time I make this video on this exact card. But guys, he is awesome. I currently use him on my team. He comes in the box for me all the time. At this point in the game, he's probably better box safety than he is an actual strong safety out deep playing zone. But once he gets an upgrade, he'll be right back to being one of those guys. Next on the list is 85 overall, Chris Godwin. He just got a limited time card yesterday. So his regular fantasy card, I actually ended up seeing this looking up for the other one. He's got 86 speed, 82 jumping, 85 catching, 80 catching traffic, 81 spectacular catch. So he's fast, he's tall, he can jump. Chris Godwin's pretty cool in general. He's got 85 catching, 80 catching traffic, 81 spec catch, and 81 medium route running. The stats are pretty good on him. I think he's a great receiver, and he's not too expensive either for 80, 39K. Falls right in the budget range. Now, another guy that's going to be like budgety, budgety. But again, I think he's definitely worth it considering the state of tight ends right now. Darren Waller. I think I actually have him. I think I start him on my team. Yeah, I do. I start him with Kittle. So Darren Waller right here has 83 speed, which at tight end is going to be up there for one of the fastest tight ends in the game. He's got 80 catch in traffic and 84 spec catch. So he's good spec catch. Good catching traffic, decent regular catching, but good speed, and he's six foot six. So he's got enough height and speed. And typically, the way if you guys know how tight ends work, and you guys have played Madden long, and if you know that a lot of tight end, a lot of tight end catches are open. Not it's not very usual unless I'm in the red zone. Not very usual usual that I'm throwing to tight ends in traffic, unless it's like Gronk or something. But like typically, the way I run my tight ends is like over the middle in routes, flag routes, out routes. A lot of routes where like they get space, so all it really need, all they need is speed. Like nothing's worse than having Zach Ertz, right? Zach Ertz. He gets open in open space. You throw it to him, but he can't do much after the catch. Guys like Darren Waller, Kittle, Sharp, they catch it and they can really take it to the house from there. That's why tight ends are always going to be in a good position to have breakaway plays. So that's why you always need an athletic tight end, in my opinion. And even if he's my second tight end, second tight ends get open all the time for me. Next on the list is George Kittle. Again, it's, I haven't taken him off the list. I still use him. So if, he, if I can compete on weekend league with him, he must not be too bad. He's at 82 speed. So again, has that breakaway speed. Not break away in the sense that if he's manned up, he could break away from someone. More like if he gets open on a blitz, on a uh, what's it called, a blitz or a blown defense or a bad user, he can take it pretty far. Trust me, he's done it. And like when they get a new Kittle, guys, you're gonna want his new upgraded card. He's gonna be the fastest head in the game, which is why I'm gladly holding on to him. He's still high in the list because I think he has a lot of longevity as a year-long tight end. He's got 86 catching, 81 spec catch, 82 speed, so he can catch pretty well. He can make spectacular catches, so he's not completely unathletic. He's got 82 speed, he's 6 foot 4, and he's got 80 run blocking. So, despite all of his catching stuff and all of his speed, alone he's like another lineman that can block for you. That's kind of like the biggest part of why I like him. Now, this guy, let's hope I don't botch his name either. Hollywood Brown. I was in type in Hollywood, forgetting that that won't actually show up in the search results. Marquise Brown, 79 overall. You can't go wrong ever with a 91 speed card. Even if you don't use him as your one or two, he could be your slot guy. Again, slot guys, you get open all the time on drags, on slants. All you got to do is get him open, get him a route where you know he's going to be short, he's not going to be covered. And 91 speed, you could easily make a move from there to the house. I'm really a big fan of Marquise Brown. Again, if I had a budget team, I'd definitely be using him. But I do not, which is why he does not have much of a role on my team. But I like Marquise Brown in real life too. So if you guys are a fan of him, I highly recommend you check him out. Next on the list is Devin Bush, Team of the Week. Now, a lot of you guys, this might not apply because you probably already have him. Because if you have his uh, rookie premiere, you already have this card pretty much the same exact. Now, he has 85 speed, 86 excel. Now, if you guys know, for a user card, that's pretty, pretty good. Especially as a budget user card. Obviously, Devin White and Shazier blow him away. But you have to realize that that's, these cards are way more higher overalls and everything. Like For a budget team, if you didn't take Ryan Shazier and you didn't take Devin White and you can't afford a good linebacker, Devin Bush is the perfect budget user linebacker. He's at 81 hit power, 86 speed, 85 speed, 86 excel. Now, what do you do when you're using a linebacker, when you're using The zone doesn't really matter too much, in my opinion, because you're using him. The block shot doesn't really matter too much, because when you're using you're in pass coverage anyways. Occasionally, there's the run coverage, but you're not going to get blocked too often because you're the one using around them. Tackling kind of matters, but again, you're putting him in position, and then as long as you can stop the play, it doesn't really matter too much. Strength, same thing. What matters for a user is height, speed, excel, and hit power. When you get to the play, can you force a fumble? Can you get to the play with speed and can you lurk? I think he has all that. He's a little bit on the shorter side, but as a whole, Devin Bush is a really awesome user card. Now, first on the list is a guy that I actually found out last week when I added him to the list, 
and I really like him. I think he's the best budget back in the game. I had to replace him with Philip Lindsay. I did some thinking. I'll compare him for you. He's 29K, as you guys can see above. Aaron Jones, 84 overall. Compare him to Philip Lindsay right here. So Philip Lindsay's one faster, right? He's 85 speed, but he's got 88 Excel. And I've learned this year in a Madden's past, a much better Excel stumps a plus one speed. Because the speed's top end. Like, once you break loose, can you take it to the house? But more importantly, can you get out of the backfield? Philip Lindsay might have top end speed, but initially getting out of the backfield, he starts slow. Like a big difference with that Dalvin Cook team of the week card I tried was that he has really high acceleration. So like right when they take the snap, they feel like a bullet bursting out. And that's important. You want to feel like a bullet coming out of the backfield because you can. that's how you get past line, uh, defensive linemen. With pursuit angles and safeties, they could easily keep up with the fastest running backs. So if you had a 99 speed, or let's say, no, it's a little excessive right now. Let's say you had a 92 speed, but an 81 excel. You could probably be caught all the time by the linebackers in the backfield. Once you hit straight line, yeah, you can break loose and no one's going to catch you. But it's not every time you get that lucky that you get that kind of lane. He's got 87 agility, 88 excel, 85 carrying, 85 speed. He can carry, so he's not going to fumble too consistently. Good agility, good excel, more wiggle room, better trucking, better break tackle. I think all around Aaron Jones is one of the best budget cards in this game, especially for a budget budget. Not like 87 overall team budget, like 80 overall team, 81 overall team budget. But guys, that is about it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget, comment down below, 150k. If any video today out of my three hits 1,000, I'll give away 150,000 coins. So all you gotta do, start smashing the like button now. Start blowing up my phone notifications. Make sure to turn on that noti bell. Separate, by the way, not included with the giveaway. Separate, by the way. Just making that sh making that known. Turn on that noti bell. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Get to 10k as soon as possible. That's gonna be a big milestone. We're almost there. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And comment down below any budget players you think I might have missed. And comment down below 150k. That's it, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay tuned for all the other videos. I'm out. Peace.